Pat, we're going to go to Universe Today, and then the University of California, then Fizzorg, then New Scientist, then Fizz Libertex, then Hypertext Book, and then we're going to go to Jordan Bloomfield from Cornell. Go, what, yeah, or, or you can just go straight to Einstein. Yeah, and then we can circle so right back I don't know to what Mr. Witzer really is level. Go, go on, Alvin. Yeah. Go on, Alvin. Yeah. Yeah. The law of non-contradiction is always... Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, go on, Alvin. Uh, yeah, I don't know what Rumpus is up to, but I'm pretty sure that 10 seconds later, George Musa said that you can think of it as a force, the, the which would be an engagement in a mind experiment. Control. Not actual. Well, why do you say it wasn't a force? Not actual. So, Rumpus still hasn't let the full quote come through. He cannot allow this. He can't let George Moose's quote. I've tried ten times. He didn't let that happen that time either. Arwen got interrupted by Rumpus. This is a cowardly move. It's looking very bad, Rumpus. He did. I accept. I don't need to tell me what you accept when I haven't quoted him yet. I know, we know what the quote is next. Oh, well, I haven't been allowed to say it. Why? Are you scared of him? You won't let me quote what he... I won't let you quote, <laughs> Hillary Clinton. 30 seconds later... Ten Sorry, I haven't quoted him yet. 30 was seconds, seconds later, he said it was... I, I haven't quoted him yet. I don't need what comes 10 seconds later if I'm yet to quote him, Hillary Clinton. Maybe tell you that I'm stopping you quoting him? You won't let me make that quote. <laughs> <laughs> Hillary Clinton says... I'm stopping Rumpus quoting him on the 11th attempt by me to quote him and him stopping the quote coming through because he's scared. Make yours. Okay, I'll, I'll try. I'll try. I'll try. That's a fair deal, isn't it, Nathan? Uh, well, no, I'm not going to get to it now being told what a fair deal it is before I actually get to quote him, saying that gravity <laughs> is not a... Oh, he can't let me. This fundy... Can't, the fuck he can't. Man. He won't let George Moose's quote come through. Because it destroys his assertion that gas pressure is being held here by gravity. Will you let me quote him what he said just after the quote that you are about to give? No, Will just after. Is it just after 10 seconds or 30 seconds? Well, we've had four minutes of you stopping me quoting him. Time now. I'll give you, if I think I have a time. I don't need your permission. You just have to shut up, but you won't. I'm just highlighting. I'm letting this go on. I'm letting my audience hear how terrified you are of Moose's quote that you won't let me quote. And are you going to bargain terms just to hear a quote? You interrupt me. I know that you won't let me give the counter quote. You don't need terms. You just need to let me quote him, and saying you, that gravity not is not a force. And, it, and, and he won't let me. He won't let me. This isn't tolerable to a fundy with a belief that gravity is a force. He said it is a problem. Rumpus is happy. I still haven't yet to quote him. What George Mosser and he or said he what Brian Cox or anyone else said, because that means he doesn't have to deal with the direct source, which is Einstein. What does Einstein call it? Because that's what they're all referencing. Einstein does Einstein, said, Einstein call it a force Einstein or an effect? Said, Einstein said that nothing he did contradicted Newton. That's not that's that's not the question. That, that, no, that no, wasn't I, even I, the question you asked. Okay, I asked you a question. I asked you a question, I asked you a question Rumpus. Do, what does okay, Einstein co uh, call gravity? Describe it as. Does he describe it as a force or an effect? Well, forces are effects. And no, 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 you were asked a question. No, that's incorrect. You were asked a question. Does Einstein describe gravity as a force or an effect, Rumpus? All forces are effects. What you just no, asked no, me? No, no, no. All Answer the question. What does Einstein describe gravity as? A force or an effect? He described it as bending of space time, but his term is Which is what? And, no, no, no. That was. He, so that's not how he described gravity. Term. That was part of the, the description. Term is an umbrella term, and it covers both the bending of space-time no. and... No, the I don't want to hear your version. I want to hear Einstein's version. Well, he said he didn't agree with... He said he agreed with Newton. I, I want to hear Einstein's <laughs> version, please. Agreed with Newton. Well, he Newton. said... He's he the same guy. What do you definitely want agree with Einstein's What's Einstein's version? Einstein's version? He, just say it. He described gravity as the bending of space time, but he accepts that it's an umbrella term. No, no, no that's not the full description. That is not the full description. 
In the 4D world, it's a space time. In the 3D world, it's a force. It's very simple. Oh, here we go with two different worlds and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. What, yeah, what's the, the full description, Wampus? Does he describe it as a force or an effect in the full description? In the 4D world, it's a bending of space time. Oh, three oh, is it? Does he describe it as a force He's not going to answer you, Brian. Let's go back and look. Hi, Nathan. Nathan, can you please give us George Mooser's quote? Uh, Gravity is not a force, but you can think of it as a force. And he he also said it wasn't a force. It was a force. Sorry, so gravity (laughs) is not (laughs) a force. Where did he do that? That that was obfuscated on 11 separate occasions by Rumpus. As a force. Sorry, it's can, not a force. Can you quote that? It's not a force. We do, because we've got evidence for it, uh, QE. Yeah, we we've do. Got evidence. We what evidence world do we live in? Time. We've got real-world measurements of the 4D effects. Is this a, is, are we living in a 3D world or a 4D world, Lumpus? Well, we're living in a projection of a 4D world that's 3D. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and we know I kind of wow. agree with that, though. If you imagine, oh, imagine that gravity is an effect. It surely is. But when it comes down to real science, gravity is not real. Gravity is not a force. Gravity is not a force. Let it sink in your thick fucking heads. Uh, you know, it has nothing to do with pseudo money force There are yeah. things that happen, like the orbit of Mercury. I thought he like wanted the he's, he's a nutbag. Let's only go with he, he wants my best citation, right? For instance, gravitational time dilation. Y'all got that time stamped, right? I fucking shut up. Let's go with the best citation I got. Yeah, all of them are the best. We'll just not listening. He doesn't know how to debate, he just knows how to verbal diarrhea the conversation. Oh, you don't like yeah, science. I'm just shoving science down in front you. You asked for something. Is this going to be? You asked for my best citation, right? Okay, let's go into that. So if we, yeah, let's do that. Let's go into your best you citation. Which is not the force. Right. We'll deal with that. All right, Caltech. Einstein came up with the theory of general relativity in 1915, the prototype of all modern gravitational theories. Its crucial ingredient involving a colossal intellectual jump is the concept of gravitation, not as a force, but as a right, manifestation of the curvature of space time. Can you provide the link, please? In it, the, it didn't, in the, we didn't uh, hear the quote, uh, Rumpus. You talked through it, you pathetic yeah, no, loser. Give me a link, so please, I'm going to now stop you from talking by muting you unless you have to actually talk through the quote. Give you talk through every word of it. Thank God. Give us Sorry. a link for it first. Uh, no. We just want it to be verbalized without you interrupting it. Is that possible? You coward. You loser. I want the link. He's just making it I don't care what you want. I want to hear it. Is that not possible? I want the link. Why won't you provide the link? You suck my balls. Yeah? Where are you like this? Hold on, Owen. So, are we not allowed to just hear a quote without Rumpus talking through it? I gave him the link. Now he's put his fingers in his ears. Thank God. Uh, the link is in Discord and live stream. I'll read it again. Einstein came up with the theory of general relativity in 1915, the prototype of all modern gravitational theories. Its crucial ingredient involving a colossal intellectual jump is the concept of gravitation not as a force, but as a manifestation of the curvature of space-time. Caltech, there's the link right there. That's one of many links um, that are done by universities. So when people come on here and say gravity is not a f- – gravity is a force and the force of gravity keeps the atmosphere on and you're stupid and I know what I'm talking about. You're just dumb. You are absolutely, totally fucking retarded. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You're speaking out of your fucking gaping asshole that has no idea what the truth is. You're parroting nonsense that you've heard from someone else. Because you think you're smart. You think you're a smart person. 
You've done no education. You've done no research. You've done nothing. You just think you're smart. This is the problem. And this is just like literally a smaller uh, portion of all the retards that think that the gravity is a force. Once you don't have a force of gravity, you don't have an atmosphere being held on by a fictitious force that, by the way, even if it did exist, which it does not, it still wouldn't hold down the air and everything else that you claim. You're fucking retards. And your fucking retard days are going to be fucking numbered. This shit is not going to fucking stop. By the way, in the United States, Trump took away all your censorship so you can't just push your fucking verbal diarrhea on people, you fucking goofballs from hell. So, in conclusion, Rumpus asserted that he had a force that could hold gas pressure here. He is a liar. He does not have a force. It is specifically detailed and needs to be obfuscated that it's not a force. It's not going to be holding gas pressure here. And all he can do is talk through every word that annihilates his argument. And that's what you've got to do if you've got a globe belief. Because you certainly don't have any winning arguments. You might have two fanciful worlds to live in, though. Two fanciful worlds to live in. Do you understand what that means? Because you cannot prove the existence of gravity. You have to reach and imagine and use four pseudo-Ramonian four space and a four-dimensional world and, and the imagination land. Oh, but we have evidence. We have math. We have this. Remember this. No demonstration. No science kindly fuck yourself. Nathan, let me ask Rumpus a question. You can't. You can't. <laughs> he put his fingers in his ears. The moment I yes, pointed out that he talked through a quote that he asked for, he talked through every word, him preventing me pointing out to him that he refused to listen to the quote he asked for, and his response was to constantly talk through that he demands that he gets the link there and then and he's going to talk through the quote while it's being quoted 